Also been talking to coal mining experts here in Lexington. WKYT's Grayson Passmore continues our top story team coverage. He's joining us now live in the studio. Grayson. Yeah, guys, I just spoke to Dr. Rick Honaker, the professor of mining engineering at UK. He explains what an idle coal production plant is and how rare a situation like this is during the demolition phase. Dr. Honaker says as he understands, workers were getting ready to dismantle a prep plant, most likely from the top down. So an idle plant just means the plant is no longer in use and in this plant's case has not been used in quite some time. Dr. Honaker says dismantling facilities like this is nothing new. It's part of the demolition process to restore land back to its original state or to be used in some other way eventually. He does say while in other places like Western Kentucky, plants are typically built out in Eastern Kentucky, plants are built up like this Martin Mine prep plant. And Dr. Honaker, of course, can't comment on what could have possibly led to the collapse of this idle plant. He does say it's extremely rare, saying most accidents happen during active mining, not during the demolition process like this. I've never heard of anybody in my lifetime being hurt on the demolition side of a coal facility. You know, most of your injuries are occurring when it's active you know, when, when things are happening, um, not when it's being torn down. We'll have more from Dr. Honaker coming up tonight. Back to you. Grayson Passmore, thank you. We're learning some more information about this coal preparation plant. The Excel Pontiki Coal Preparation Plant is the site of a former Pontiki coal mine. Kentucky Energy and Environment Cabinet spokesperson John Mira has told the Kentucky Lantern that Alliance Resource Partners closed the prep plant in 2013. It was then permitted to Lexington Coal Company, which is based in West Virginia. The company contracted with Skeens Enterprises, which is based in Pike County for site demolition and salvage operations. The workplace death was reported to the Kentucky Division of Occupational Safety and Health Compliance and inspection is now opened up with the Lexington Coal Company.